Uh, good day to you, Your Honor, and ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Um, let me first start off by saying that my client, Clarence Gideon, uh, the question that really has to come into light here is not a question of, of innocence or guilt, at least not the first question. The first question we should be asking is, is it a crime to be poor? Because, and does being poor mean you cannot have a fair trial? That's the real question that we're getting at today here with Mr. Gideon. Mr. Gideon was arrested for a, on suspicion of a crime. And remember, we're innocent until proven guilty in this system. And because of his inability to afford a lawyer, he was automatically given a sentence, could not defend himself. Mr. Gideon is not a lawyer himself and was denied due process of law because of his inability to afford legal counsel. And this is a direct violation of the Sixth Amendment, which guarantee the right to a fair trial and counsel for that trial. It is not a crime to be poor, ladies and gentlemen. It is a crime to commit a crime. But that process of determining whether a crime has been committed fairly was denied to my client, Gideon. A trial cannot be fair unless the accused has appropriate legal counsel. And to deny someone this, this uh, due process because of their inability to pay skews our justice system into a profiteering shell game. That's wrong. Mr. Gideon, under the Sixth Amendment of the Constitution of the United States, is required to have legal counsel, and that was denied to him. It is for this reason that a mistrial must be declared and that a retrial with fair legal counsel must be given to my client. Thank you.